all these questions about moments. We have this book on the on the shelf as shown on the on the picture. And the first question is to write what is the what is the center of gravity. So center of gravity is the point where we consider the weight to be acting on. So point at which weight acts on. So we consider that all the all the particles of the matter is concentrated in one point and that will be uh, the dot or as you see the center of gravity. Now um, it says that there's two contact forces at the two positions where the book touches the shelf. So it's the R as you can see from there and then there's another force on that side where the shelf touches the shelf, where the book touches the shelf. And the book is moved along this shelf and we need to draw the graph to show how the contact force R varies with the distance X, distance that is hanging out of the shelf. So I added these diagrams just to show you the two extremes. So in this one, in the middle one, it shows you what happens when X equals zero. That means nothing is hanging out of the, of the shelf. So that means we have the two forces, as you can see, F and R. They are the two edges of the book. And the center of gravity yeah, is acting on the, on, the, on the middle of the book. So these two forces, F and R, they are the same distance from the center of gravity. Yeah. So if, for example, if, for example, the weight, let's say, is 100, these two forces will be 50 and 50 because it's in the middle. Yeah. So that means force R, it will be half the weight, whatever the weight is. So going to the graph, when X equals zero, that means we're there, the, the force R will be half of the weight. So if weight, let's say, is that value, it will be half of the weight. So it starts from there. Now, the other extreme, as you can see on the third image, is where the X is half of the length of the book. So this is the range of the, the range we need to investigate, X being zero, which is this one, and X being uh, half, of the way, the half of the length of the book. So in that case, we can see that the weight is actually on the edge of the shelf, the center of weight, the center of mass and the force r is actually acting on the same direct on the same point as the weight in that case there's only two forces on the on the book so the book doesn't move therefore these two forces are equal in terms of magnitude so if weight is 100 let's say in that case r is 100 as well there's no other forces it's not like the previous one that we have f so that means when x is half of the length of the book force r becomes equals to to weight so these are the two these are the two uh, points therefore we can see that our line will go like that now if it's a if it's a straight line or a curve we don't have enough information for that all right so whatever you join that case um, it will be okay as long as it's a positive gradient and it connects these two points. Yeah. So when we're sketching a graph, we don't need a lot of details. We just need a couple of points like the ones we have included there. And now the next one, explain why the book will not remain on the shelf if X is greater than half of the length. So if the book is placed in that way where the part that's hanging out is more than half of the book's length, then we can see that the, the center of, uh, of mass right, is, is kind of hanging out as well. Right? 
the only force that is acting upwards is R. It's a reaction from the from that tip at the at the end of the of the shelf, right? So um, in that case, we if we consider this to be the pivot, the force R doesn't cause any moment because it's on the same axis as the pivot. So the only force that is causing moment is a weight. Yeah, so the weight it will cause a clockwise moment and there's nothing else to balance that clockwise moment. Therefore, the, the, the book will just fall off the shelf. Yeah. So in that case, you need to say that the center of gravity or the center of mass is not above the shelf. As you can see, it's hanging out. Yeah. And the reason I'm this kind of fall is because uh, weight um, causes um, clockwise moment. Yeah. And there's no anti-clockwise moment to to balance it. To balance it. All right, so there's going to be a net moment. The resultant moment is not going to be zero. That's it.